Hello everyone. For today's video, we're gonna be hiking to uh, Little Bradley Falls. This is in uh, Saluda, North Carolina. It's off exit 59 from I-26. Little parking area on both sides of the road. Uh, parking area at the trailhead for this one and then one at, for uh, Big Bradley Falls. Um, this one is rated easy to moderate, I think. And there are a couple of creek crossings. But I think you can cross those without really getting too wet. So we're gonna get started and continue on. And uh, fill you in along the way. Also, if this is your first time seeing any of my videos, please consider subscribing. It does not cost you anything. You will not get any spam or anything like that. It just really helps me out, it keeps me going. All right. All the trails are very easy to follow, well worn. A couple of dead fallen places and some roots like this. A few places it gets kind of narrow. So far so good. Probably about halfway there. So we're at the first creek crossing. Able to rock hop it fairly easily. <laughs> that one rocket there she's standing on is kind of loose though. Yay. Going up on some deadfall here. I think eventually there is a more creek crossing somewhere. We're alongside the road here now. Just noticed that pretty far down in the hole here. The trail actually might go around all this. I think it actually does. A little bit of climbing right here, it looks like. Yep. So, correction, you do not go up here. This is where you cross the creek at, the second creek crossing. We need to figure out our best route. I think it's gonna go up here. We can go that way. So we made it across the creek. So we were right over there. We're gonna cross these rocks and come across right where they're standing. You gotta go step across this log over here. The log is a little flimsy. You kinda have to do that part quickly. Now we're gonna move on to the towards the falls. I think that's the last crossing we have to do, but I'm not certain. We'll soon find out. There's a little bit of minor scrambling here. Still no sign of the waterfall. Went uphill for just a little bit after the creek crossing. And it's kind of leveled off a little bit. Coming up on something here. There's a sitting area. 
some chimneys or something maybe. You know what this is or what it was, please leave a comment below. So here's a, actually a third creek crossing. And it sounds like the falls is probably just beyond it. I'm gonna cross here and then go on. So we got to see the waterfall and had lunch there. Now we're hiking back to the parking area. And uh, I'm gonna rest there for a minute. And then maybe try to see the uh, Big Bradley Falls from the Overlook. I ran into another hiker here and uh, he said it wasn't, it wasn't terrible and not too terribly far. But there is one creek crossing. It's gonna be similar to the the, uh, the main one, the most difficult one we saw earlier, where you kind of had to work your way around different rocks and walk across the log. It was a little wobbly, I have to admit, but it's definitely doable. Uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I uh, highly recommend the hike. Uh, it was good to do it on a day like today. It's later in the year, almost December. There were some people here some people out but really not very many saw a couple solo hikers and then one or two families but uh there was a time where we was at the falls and we probably would enjoy it just just by ourselves so it was really nice I highly recommend it i'd rate the hike uh easy with some moderate parts overall i'd say it's easy and uh yeah so that's gonna do it for this one if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't totally free no strings attached and as always thanks for watching